This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. On Lake Cumberland, low oxygen levels in the deeper parts of the water have moved the walleye and striped bass into shallower water with fish currently in 20 to 50 feet of water. Walleye are being caught on crankbaits and bottom bouncers, and planer boards and downriggers are good bets for striped bass. On Lake Linville, the yellow perch population continues to expand, and we are seeing decent numbers of 10 to 11 inch fish. Try fishing in vegetative coves using inline spinners or small crankbaits. Trout streams in the Daniel Boone National Forest and Laurel River Lake Tailwater have recently been stocked with rainbow trout. October 1 marked the start of catch and release season on several trout streams, so be sure to check the fishing guide to see which creeks are included in this regulation. Good luck and good fishing. This is Justin with your fishing report out of the Northeast. The fall muskie should be really taking off at Cave Run. Try fishing topwater early in the morning next to the wheat bed. Also look for a good cloudy day to help turn on the bite. The Army Corps is starting to draw the lake to get to winter pool. Cave Run Tailwaters is also really turned on for bass and crappie. Uh, we are seeing good numbers of big fish just down from the dam. Try targeting the channel edge with your favorite bass lure, or drift a minnow down and have a good chance of catching either one. Other options are in the upper part of Cave Run Lake in Grayson. Target deep water habitat. Down trees that are hanging in the channel are great options, or you can fish department piles. Go online or stop by one of the offices located around the lakes to get a map for the habitat. Trout have been stocked in East Fork Indian, Middle Fork Red River, and Swift Camp Creek. These waters are catch and release through March 31st. That should do it for us in the Northeast. Remember to take a kid fishing next time you go. This is Rob Rold in the Northwestern Fishery District. Bass fishing's been fairly slow, but it is picking up slightly as the water cools. Both rough and no lin are at summer pool and steady. Crappie fishing is slow, but it's steadily improving as well. Most of the crappie that are being caught are in the 10 to 14 foot depth range and over those deeper brush piles. White bass are still in the jumps at no lin, especially in the areas of the dam and the state park. Ohio River is in a good stable condition. Anglers are still catching some hybrid striped bass, striped bass, and all catfish below the dams. Hybrid striped bass and striped bass will remain in the tailwater areas below the dams for another two or three weeks. So that's an update from the Northwestern Fishery District. Please remember, be safe on the water and always wear your life jackets.